Alright everyone, welcome back. This is Vape. I'm back with another cast for you guys of League of Legends ranked games. I did realize uh, recently that these are actually not all high rated games. Some of them are, but some of them are not. Now, I do actually recognize one player from this uh, game, and that's uh, this Vagar here, actually, Voos or Voos. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I have seen that name uh, somewhere before. I'm not quite sure where, but I have seen it somewhere. Um, now, uh, I did actually catch this game very, very early. As you can see, they're all level 1. This is actually exactly 1 minute into the game, so let's get into it and uh, we'll see how this goes. So, as usual, I did not preview this game. I don't preview any of them. Uh, I don't know why they're sitting here at Baron. Yeah, shut up for a second. So, we have on the blue team, we have Janna. We have uh, Varus, we have Vagar, Mundo, and Yorick. On the purple team, and the blue, we have. Uh, oh god, no, I'm gonna get his name without. Minions have spawned. No, I'm gonna just do it. Victor, <laughs> Renekton, Caitlyn, Warwick, and Sona. So, um, blue team is actually trying to invade here a little bit. I'm not quite sure if they're gonna try to steal the red or they're gonna hope that somebody, uh, that Warwick, sorry, is gonna actually come here. But uh, no, it looks like they're just going to steal his jungle to prevent him from farming a little bit. Uh, and they're probably going to steal the red buff too. And uh, this also puts uh, makes Warwick very vulnerable for a gank later on. Because what might happen is that they could stay here and try to kill Warwick even though Renekton did spot this. So uh, I guess Warwick is probably just going to go into the blue jungle and uh, steal their red buff. Now that might be a bit risky, but I'm not quite sure what Warwick can do otherwise, because um, they did steal it, and this means that he's going to either have to gank or steal their blue. Or, of course, be behind. Now Mundo is going to try to gank here, but I don't think a good opportunity here, uh, actually presented itself, so he didn't really bother. Uh, Warwick is coming down here, perhaps to try to get an early gank, but nope, he's going straight for the red. Bot lane is pretty passive right now, although Warwick is about to run into Mundo here and Mundo decides to back off just to go to the raids. Um, and perhaps that may have been a good option for him because Warwick would, would have been able to gank him here even though Mundo is going to come back here now and Warwick is going to be engaging his red which was probably a, a, not a very smart move by Warwick. He should have probably waited for Mundo to actually try to kill it. So Warwick is going to probably get killed here with three people. No he does not. He jumps off the br over the over the wall straight to the dragon. And uh, it looks like Warwick is now safe. Now, uh, Mundo could go down here. He is dropping a bit low. But, of course, uh, with the heal and uh, support from his team, he does not get picked off. Varus is actually in front of them all here, doing a bit of damage here. And I'm actually surprised how long this first blood is not being called for. I expected it to be called much, much earlier because of all the damage that's been thrown around here. Oh, look at that. How much health does she have? <laughs> Janna survived with 9 health. That is crazy. Actually, Var um Victor is going to pick up first blood here, killing uh, Vagar, and then of course blue team killing uh, Victor as well. Actually Varus picking up two kills here, this is going to be a very very nice uh, advantage for them later on. Varus is going to be chasing down uh, Warwick with Janna's help, and he is going to pick Warwick off as well. This is going to be a great advantage for Warwick now, is, is Sona going to survive here? I do believe that she might run away just under the turret here, but um, nope, uh, yeah. He did get him just about. So uh, that was quite a nice trade for Blue Team. They did actually they have a very very good start so far. I mean, looking at the kills now, it's 4-1, and that that early jungle really forced Warwick to screw up their whole um, the whole game. You could even say because. Um, the start was horrible, and considering Varus actually just got 3 kills, I believe he's going to almost be able to afford a BF sword right now. Let's have a quick look at his gold. He does have 1475 gold right now. He's probably not going to wait for that uh, BF sword, but he's going to get something very nice nonetheless. Unless he sells all the stuff. But, um, no, he's going to stay here, he's going to farm, and, uh... I'd say as soon as he can afford that BF sword, or at least until he gets another kill maybe, he is going to go for that uh, for that BF sword and get very, very, very farmed. Now unfortunately, for some reason my my map minimap is bugged out, I can't actually do anything on the minimap, so I'm going to have to rely on hotkeys. And I do remember that um, 1 to 5 and Q to T 
bring you to the respective teams, blue and purple of course, respected um, characters. So I'm going to quickly go down to the bottom and follow Caitlyn, then I'm going to go to Varys, because, um, wait no that's not Varys, that's Janna. But um, I do believe that this Varys is going to have a massive advantage for the rest of the game now, because they did, he did pick off three people early on, and getting so many kills early on is just going to play a huge role in th this game's outcome. An AD carry is all about getting kills, and usually even an AP burster, an AP mage, I don't know what, I don't know what you want to call them, would actually give an AP carry uh, the kills because they want them to KS them. Because an AD carry later on will be pretty much tree shotting everyone else, and uh, as the name suggests, carry the team. So uh, bottom is pretty quiet right now. Victor and Vega are going to have a bit of a problem against each other. They both do quite a nice bit of damage. V uh, Victor's uh, laser thing that he just used right now does a crazy amount of damage, especially late game. I've seen some Victors doing almost half of somebody's health with that thing. Uh, Squish champions, of course. And um, Vega, of course, being an anti mage, especially uh, with Victor's uh, passive from the hex core. It does give him extra AP, which means that uh, Vagar is going to be quite effective against him. But um, either ways, I don't believe that uh, Vagar is going to be able to kill Victor that easy in the start because Victor does have that stun. It is going to be um, actually hold my my words. There, uh, there might be a gank in middle, and all I said just now might be really screwed up. Yeah, they are going to. He is going to catch Vega here in the stun, but I don't believe that he's going to have enough damage. And Mundo is, of course, going to pick up that kill uh, with Vega's help. And uh, Victor might have had a good start, but he does have two deaths now, and that's not going to be very good for him for the the mid to late game actually, because Vega does have two assists now. He does. He has caught up with with um, with Victor. Maybe Victor's still slightly ahead because he did get that first blood. But I do think that um, this is not going to go so well with, for Victor now, seeing as he did just lose um, two deaths in a row without getting a kill. And his minion farm is going to be falling behind now, Vagar, because um, Vagar is going to be free farming while he's still running back. Of course, Vagar's very important early game is going to consist of a lot of farm, because minion kills are practically the most important thing for Vagar. Just to farm up his AP, because as you know, his Q, if you kill a minion with your Q as Vagar, you get an AP point. And this is permanent, it doesn't have a cap, and you can actually just massively get a huge amount of AP like this if you do a good farm. If you can get up to about 100, AP, 100 minions, you could get uh, 100 AP quite easily. And actually, Mundo invading Warwick's jungle, I don't know why Warwick is not doing anything here. Just standing there, even though he could... Oh, I see. So yeah, Renekton is probably going to pick up this kill right here, although Mundo is running away with his ult on. And uh, it does look like he's going to survive. Warwick probably getting quite lucky there actually. But uh, Victor is probably going to try to stun uh, Mundo here or just kill him with his ult, that works too. <laughs> and uh, actually I did just miss that and uh, I'm just going to go back for this. But uh, Varus is about to uh, kill Sona here and... Uh, I'm not quite sure, she has quite a lot of health, I don't know how he did this, I guess he just dived her. And yeah, it does look he just dived her and he's probably going to flash out here now. Nope, just about survived, but that was pretty risky. If there was, if Caitlyn was anywhere nearby, he would have probably ended up giving away that kill. And, um, you know, that wouldn't really be a, a fair trade. Although then again, Varus feeding and Sona killing, uh, feeding is not really, you know, Sona feeding is not a big deal, whereas Varus feeding is just crazy, especially considering he is already on 4-0 four, four actually now, See, seeing as he didn't actually die there. Actually, uh, Vagar getting a bit of harassment here, he's gonna probably get stunned here, but I don't think he'll get away, he'll get uh, killed here, because they are not going to be stupid enough to dive him. And <laughs> that really turned around really badly. Now, I do believe Renekton is probably gonna get killed by Mundo here no matter what happens, unless uh, Victor gets a really good stun here, which is probably not going to happen, yeah. Mundo is picking up that kill, and this is going very, very well in Blue's favor. Victor is probably going to go down to Mundo here as well, with a double kill. I don't believe Caitlyn is going to die, because she does have that net jump. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but uh, Warwick is not going to die here either. There's no way. 
So, uh, so far so good. A pink ward has been placed down here, which is going to um, spot for wards as well as, of course, revealing that line of sight for the blue team. Um, now, I'm not quite sure. If somebody stood in that bush, I'm not quite sure if that ward would be picked up by this one. I don't think the range is that big unless uh, perhaps he's ma he has mastery points into it, which could, of course, uh, give you that extra sight just about enough to pick that ward off. So uh, Varus is sitting here at the tower, I don't know why, he should probably be up here somewhere trying to get a few minion kills. Um, Caitlyn and Sona actually sitting in the bush here, I'm not... Did that ward just get taken out by Sona or what? Maybe it just ran out, I didn't quite notice. Let's look at Caitlyn's items, actually she only has two Doran's blades and a pink ward. I don't know why Caitlyn would buy a pink ward, that is a lot a big waste of money and it's gonna hinder her quite badly I mean she only has two assists and one death with zero kills so I do believe that's gonna hinder her quite badly let's just look at Varus yeah you can see he's a whole BF sword ahead of course the four kills do have a big part in it but uh, the fact that he did waste 125 or 120 gold I'm actually not quite sure how much it costs to be honest right now it's either 120 or 125 the fact that he did waste that gold on a ward is going to hurt him pretty bad. As you can see, Virus is the only one on the blue team without a ward right now, and that is purely because he needs to farm. He needs to get those items, he needs to get damage, and then he's going to carry this team just to victory. Nothing else. Um, unless he fucks up, but uh, Victor is about to come down here to, to uh, pull off a gank, but blue team does see this, and they are going to back off. So, um, this just shows you the importance of, of pink wards as well. Even normal wards are pretty handy. Of course, uh, revealing the line of sight, they don't show you enemy wards, but seeing somebody coming in like that is amazingly good. Actually, that pink ward getting traded here, very good for um, purple team. But, um, it, yeah, as I was saying, those, those wards are just so important, and a lot of people don't quite use them because they don't understand the importance of them. They believe that it's a waste, and actually Victor completely getting demolished here. Just getting jumped on by everyone, and they're just not going to be able to do anything about it. Four assists along with a kill is just demolition right here. Blue team is in a commanding lead right now with nine kills and three deaths. Uh, they're quite ahead on gold as well. Uh, three thousand out of out of thirteen thousand. I don't know. It's about forty percent. No, sorry, twenty-five percent or so. So uh, they did just get a free dragon actually, even though they could have been contested, but of course without uh, Victor they couldn't really do much. Um, so um, that ward is going to again get picked off, and this is, shows you the awesomeness of pink wards. If you're the support and you actually go off and pick pick off all these blue, all these green wards, sorry, that, um, that uh, the enemy puts down, you do get 25 gold for each kill of a ward. So if you can pick off three wards like that, which is probably unlikely within one pink ward but it is going to pay off about half the cost at least and uh, as you can see Varus' damage here is actually crazy considering especially that charge shot does a lot of damage I, I was actually surprised to be honest how much damage it does and the scaling is he has 161 AD which means the scaling on the normal is 1 to 1 whereas when he charges it off fully it's about 1.5 or 1.6 to 1 AD I believe and that is a crazy amount of scaling. I do believe that that's going to um, get nerfed to about maybe 1.2 later on. Not quite sure when, but I do think that it will eventually get nerfed. Now I'm going to jump quickly to Yorick up here, see what he's doing. And uh, Yorick is just one of those champions that just gets crazy annoying later on. He does have that blue buff, of course, which is going to mean he's going to be able to harass all day long. He's going to have a lot of sustain as well as all that damage. Like right now, look at that. He did just take pretty much... Um, Renekton's full burst and look how much health he still has just purely because he can just lifesteal everything back now he does see Warwick with that the help of that ward and you know Warwick can't really take on Yorick one on one just not possible and uh, I'll jump quickly down to the bottom see what's going on here because they did get a bit close to each other but I believe that was just the uh, purple team pushing a little bit but you know that's not really a good idea especially when you have a Mundo like that who ganks like freaking crazy and that Mundo was doing a very good job early game as well as probably still doing a good job right now. I'm actually going to jump quite up here quickly because Renekton does look like he's about to fall here. Yeah, if Mundo catches him once, that's it. The Cleaver is going to kill him. Or, no, perhaps not. I guess Renekton ulting does kind of push them off, even though Warwick is coming up here, and this could be 
a good engage for them if they do pick off uh, Yorick alone that might be a nice help actually I did just miss another kill down here Varus did just pick off uh, Sona and I do believe that this game is going very very steadily downhill for purple team because Varus is just crazy fed right now he's at 501 compared to Caitlyn 012 he is also a uh, minion kills ahead and Yorick did just kill Renekton I do believe that was uh, pretty much guaranteed to happen middle also gets ganked but um yeah I do believe that this game is gonna quickly quickly come to an end soon uh, it's not currently finished loading the time is still going on my timer which you can see of course which means it's not over at 20 uh, spoiler alert sorry <laughs> but uh, Varus has already pushed his bottom third I'm pretty sure he he done this so he so that Caitlyn does not get any farm he does see how far ahead he is so he does want to stop that laning phase down at bottom which means uh, Caitlyn is going to be pretty far behind now for the whole time either that or she's just not going to take part in any team fights and um, that is probably what Varus wants to do and it's probably the best idea he is going to go for that infinity edge straight away there he is actually picking it up just as I'm saying it uh, Vagar picking up that Deadfire's grasp and this is going to be a crazy amount of burst from Vagar I have tried Vagar a few times and Against an AP, I don't believe any AP right now would survive this burst. Almost 200 AP, he does have Deathfire Grasp, and of course he's, he's probably one of the strongest anti-mage killers out there right now. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is actually pretty crazy right now. This this Vega is going to be doing a crazy amount of damage. He is a little bit behind on minions, and I would say that he is slightly, slightly behind Victor overall, but um, let's actually look at which one Victor took. He did took the Graviton Augment. And uh, this one is the basically the sustain one with mana region and cooldown reduction. And that was actually pretty close there. If Warwick would have jumped onto uh, Vega, even though Warwick is level 7, I don't know how exactly that happened, but he's so far behind right now. But if Vega would have been jumped there, they could have probably quite easily killed him. And uh, we'll see how this goes now. He does put that trap down, which I don't think was a very good choice actually, because uh, I'm pretty sure that thing has long enough cooldown actually 12 seconds for purple something like that is actually pretty low purple team losing another turret they're now two turrets behind which um, it's gonna greatly help blue team blue team is miles ahead right now they are about let me do a quick math calculation here not a very good thing to be doing at this time of, of the evening um say 18 and 26 oh shit Right, apologies for that, but uh, somebody did just call me on Skype and that did cause a pop-up to happen, which uh, kind of screws up with everything. And I'm going to quickly jump here because there is a big engage right here, and uh, it does look like a 4 versus 4 right now, seeing as the two top laners are actually fighting each other. And uh, this is a clear domination right now. The purple team can almost do nothing here. All they picked off was the support, which is just, it just shows the lack of damage that they have right now. Uh, is he really gonna jump her? No, he's not. No way. He wouldn't survive that third hit one more time. And uh, purple team is in a horrible position. Like, I I don't even see what they can do. And look at that. He even dives her and takes a tower hit, and she still dies. Uh, I do believe that that was a bit greedy by Sona. She did try to pick him off just to probably to get that. Uh, that killing spree bonus and they are going to pick up Baron or not Baron Dragonite they have a perfect timing for it very very well timed so um yeah I do believe that this game is pretty much over I don't believe that purple team can do anything I'm sorry for calling the game so early but I just don't see any way of coming back after such a bad early game especially with Var Varus being at 8-0 he's at his legendary title right now and um, that's just gonna spell disaster for late game if they push it that way uh, looking at his build now he is going straight for his phantom dancer second I do believe that that is the, the preferred build these days going for a phantom dancer before bloodthirster um, just purely because it gives you both movement speed, crit and attack speed and these are all really really important things for an AD carry um, for both survival and of course damage and uh, Vagar could probably pick off Victor here if he gets him in a stun but I'm not really 100% sure how this will go uh, perhaps doing it under the tower is not the best of choices but uh, I'd say he's the he's the pro here I'm gonna jump quickly to the top they do seem to be having a bit of a conflict there with Mundo jumping onto him I do believe they're gonna pick him off here if one more cleaver lands they are gonna probably get the kill here 
Oh, he does ult, but I don't believe it's on time. I say it's too late, and Warwick is gonna stun actually on the mood. I don't know why they did that, because Warwick is gonna get killed now as well. At least to Yorick, even if Mundo doesn't does die, but uh, he doesn't, of course, because uh, Mundo is OP as hell, especially with his ult being active a few seconds ago. They're gonna back off here, not gonna risk any gank from Caitlyn, because Caitlyn could pick off Mundo uh, with her ultimate. If he is not careful, even though he does have almost 600 health, which uh, would probably survive the ultimate at this stage, especially considering her AD Our right now. So uh, Varus is actually pulling, or uh, not pulling, <laughs> Varus is pushing uh, bottom quite heavily now. He does know that Caitlyn cannot do anything against this push, and he does just push it the whole way because if they push the bottom turret right now, Caitlyn is going to be forced to be sitting there the whole time, either that or the whole team is going to be forced to sit there, which means Varus can just, just move around freely, doing whatever he wants because he is farmed as hell, 802, 161 million kills, I believe Varus is just laughing in the face of this game right now. Not quite sure why Vega. Oh, I see. They did see Sona here, and he's gonna stun her and most likely get the kill as well. There's no way she's surviving this. Unless. No. This can't happen. No. How could that have happened? I do not believe that. He even ulted him. Did he not kill him or something? I don't. I don't see how that didn't get a kill there. But, uh. Otherwise, I suppose maybe he didn't want to use his Deathfire Grasp or something like that. I don't quite know, to be honest. But uh, definitely not worth it. I would have used that Death Fire Grat just, just to secure that kill, get even more of a feeding than 315. Even though that's not really that fed, but it's it's a very good position to be in. So Mundo being quite annoying as hell, uh, throwing his cleavers everywhere. You know, Mundo, the general kind of thing. Uh, Mundo after one Warmog is actually a very dangerous thing to fight. Uh, even though he's a full tank right now, he does have quite a bit of damage because those cleavers have a set amount of damage and it's 21% at level 3. He did maximize his burning agony first, um, even though most people do infect the cleaver first and I do believe that is the wrong way to go about it. But uh, this guy is the pro, he knows how to do it and I'm not going to argue with him. Uh, of course I'm not arguing with him, I'm kind of agreeing with what he's doing anyways. Even though mas masochism is actually also a very good thing to get and Warwick just gets annihilated. I don't really believe there's any point in in commentating this too much. I'll just let you watch how Purple Team is getting demolished. It is 20 to 4. The game should end soon, I would imagine, because uh, either they push or they just demolish them and the Purple Team surrenders. One of those is going to happen and I have a feeling it's gonna be the surrender. That's would be that would be my first choice anyways, because I there's no way I would actually stay around like this. Look at that. Vagar does about 80% of Caitlyn's health. Of course Varus does steal it, but uh seeing as he's allowed technically speaking as the AD carry uh Varus is just crazy right now. His Phantom Dancer and Infinity Edge and Caitlyn doesn't even have her Infinity Edge yet, which is just I don't know, it's not laughable because I do feel sorry for her for having such a horrible start. She did get shut down quite a lot. Vara's getting like crazy amount of feeding, especially those three kills in early in the early game. I did tell you that um, three kills is just going to end up that he's just going to dominate this whole game. Uh, even though I do admit that Vagar is having a big part in this right now because he's doing quite a lot of damage compared to Varus even. But Varus is getting all those kills and of course if Vagar's uh, ult doesn't kill somebody then you know the only way to do it then is the AD carry so uh, a nice bit of farm here actually look at that he's actually one-shotting minions right now that is crazy how much crit does he have because he seems to be critting every single second let's look at his stats actually right now 55% crit and that is just with infinity edge and phantom dancer which is a very very nice combination clearly um, looking at his attack speed Actually, sorry, armor penetration. He only has six armor penetration, which I'm guessing is coming from runes. Uh, the percentage is also probably coming from runes. Actually, it definitely is coming from masteries. My bad. And um, this game is pretty much over right now. There's nothing, nothing that Purple Team can do. I'm sorry, but there just isn't. There we go, another engage under the tower, Warwick is going to instantly go down straight away and uh, they're just going to dive in here and just do whatever the hell they want. With Mundo tanking the turret, they can just kill whatever they want. 
Now, uh, Dragon is up, but I don't believe that anybody's going to even bother with the Dragon right now. I do believe it's going to end very, very shortly, especially with uh, Vagar picking off Victor so easily just there with, of course, uh, Caitlyn getting picked off in one second, which is nothing new here. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Yorick did just kind of run into the turret for quite a bit too long, and... Uh, that was actually a mistake by him, it wasn't really any skill from Caitlyn's part, I must admit, because uh, it was the turret that killed him fully, and they are probably just, just going to push the, the, the middle, yeah, they're going to push the middle turrets and probably just end it very, very shortly. Yep, yep, just finish off the turret. They are backing off here, so um, not quite sure what is going on here. I still don't get why Purple Team is so persistent about this. I guess this is the way it goes in ranked games, really. A lot of the teams, especially the professional teams like uh, CLG, SK Gaming, uh, Solo Mid, all those teams, they would fight until the very end. Until the Nexus is over, actually, that was didn't quite go as, as I thought it would. What the hell is going on with the camera? They did surrender because it was obvious that this game is over. So um, yeah, that, this is I believe the fifth game that I've cast now so far. I hope you people are enjoying it. Uh, please leave some feedback. Uh, I got a lot of negative feedback actually on the forums, but um, that was a lot of criticism, at least from people that, uh, that I appreciated the criticism for. Because you know, when somebody gives me good feedback, I I mean it's good. Obviously, I enjoy reading good feedback. But when it's negative feedback, it helps me improve which just makes more people happy hopefully so um, I do believe I am the first to properly do this uh, with uh, you know starting from the very very beginning of the game without actually you know joining halfway through and recording because there's a guy who does it that way but um, yeah so far so good so um, that's pretty much it for this game blue team taking it quite easily very very easy game and I bet you one of them said easy just to be a prick and yeah, that's it. I'm Vapo and I'm out.